Hi, everybody. Good Tuesday evening to you, and welcome to VibeFortBend.com coverage of Fort Bend ISD basketball. I'm Roger Smith. Welcome in to the gym at Travis High School where the Tigers are hosting the Austin Bulldog boys in a District 26A game. District 26A just loaded, very tough. Even the teams that are bringing up the rear, in this case the Austin Bulldogs, tied with George Ranch and also Dulles, each with a record of 1-6, and six, but dangerous teams because we saw that Austin got a victory last Wednesday night in a game that we broadcasted for you. Even though they didn't have Tylen Harris and Mike Baines, both of them out because of concussion protocol. But it is Travis that came off of a win, or a loss, I should say, on Saturday to Ridge Point that dropped them to 4-3, and three, so they are tied for fourth in district play along with the Bush Broncos. So one of the usual suspects could possibly get squeezed out of the playoff picture this year, and that's what we're going to count uh, talk about on the countdown to kickoff show and we're also good boys he's got Zach Mar, our countdown to tip off show our visit with Chris O'War of Austin when we return on VipeFortBend.com Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Welcome to 11111 Harlem Road in Richmond, Texas. It's the Travis Gym, and this is our Tuesday night game. And now District 26A is playing Tuesdays and Fridays. It seems a little bit more normal. Coach Chris O'War of the Austin Bulldogs. I know you played Elkins on Saturday. They're tough. You didn't get the win there. But last Wednesday, even without Tylen Harris and Mike Baines, you won. So are those guys back and available tonight? Not yet. Uh, Mike, <laughs> that's crazy. Mike Baines will be back on Friday. Tyler will be back next Monday. We're excited. Um, we, we're gonna be, we, we haven't had a full roster, uh, but one game this entire district lineup. So I'm excited to have those guys back. Wow. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing them back as well. Now, can you just give me a layman's version of, of maybe something that you do differently without those guys available? Or do you keep running your regular stuff? No, we of course we got to adjust the second half of district. Um, the blessing is we got uh, our other uh, quality player here, uh, Davion Jackson. They'll be playing today, uh, so we're just uh, playing our matchups differently, uh, doing a better job protecting the paint, uh, and uh, better matchups than last time. What do you do with Cameron Crockett? Quite a talent for Travis. Oh, we respect and appreciate that Division One talent because regardless, a Division One player is going to get his. We we'll try our best to slow him down, uh, contain him, and make sure we got guys around him when he's trying to attack and trying to get in attack mode. And hopefully, when he drops that shoulder, we'll, we'll be in a position to take that charge. By the way, I'm looking around, and it's kind of hard to tell because both teams have a lot of red in their color scheme, but it looks like you travel pretty well tonight. They didn't have to come very far, and I think you're going to have – uh, some vocal fans in the stands. We will be, man. What, what our theme for this year is, I believe, just believe in each other, believe in yourself, believe in the program. Uh, since I've been here, uh, Austin High School really hasn't had a name for himself. So it looks like we're slowly picking it up. And big testament to the student section, the parents, our community, because Travis is right down the street. Heck, the middle school players, are the, they were middle school teammates uh, in middle school. So it's a good rivalry to have here. Yeah, I'm, this is the one that I, I really like. I, I, I would have a hard time calling one my favorite. I love watching Ridge Point play Elkins. Marshall Hightower is really good, especially in basketball this year. But Austin Travis is pretty nice, too. Exactly. It, well, I went to Hastings, and Hastings and Elsick was our rivalry every single year till t to this day. This has the potential to be uh, that matchup every single year, uh, as long as Austin keeps pro uh, progressing like, like it is. Okay, and when I talked to my friends in A-Leaf, I was on the fence, 
Now I'm all in for Hastings just because of you, Coach. <laughs> yes, sir. I appreciate it, man. Bear ball, small, small win, Shirley and Carter, man. Yeah, and they got to sweep up all the broken glass oh, from awesome. uh, awesome. the shattered backboard. <laughs> all right, we'll be back. Thank you very much. That's Chris Olwar of the Austin Bulldogs, and we'll talk to Craig Brownson of Travis if I can find him <laughs> here in a minute on the Countdown to Tip-Off show. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireandauto.com, and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Welcome back to the Countdown to Tip-Off show. And moments ago when we talked to Chris Olwar of Austin, we were saying, hmm, let's, let's go find Coach Brownson. Well, Coach Brownson is uh, at home. He's going to be doing okay, but he can't coach tonight. And Brian Martinez is taking over as the head coach. And this is special for you, Coach, because of your twin sons who are seniors. Uh, yes, sir. This is uh, something I never thought would ever happen. Um, but I'm glad to step in for Coach Brownson. Uh, you know, he's taught me so much. Hopefully I can do him a service tonight, do the boys some service, and uh, hopefully we can pull away with the win. So. Now, I don't know you that well. I don't know if you kind of cry easily like Dick Vermeil or someone like that, but uh, is this something where, I don't know, uh, sometimes when I'm, when I'm watching a certain something in sports, y'all can talk all you want. It's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> when... Uh, Something will kind of take me by surprise, and all of a sudden I'll just kind of get emotional. Uh, do you think that might happen maybe at the opening tip when you think, wow, I'm the head coach and my twin boys are out there, and you didn't think it was a possibility? Uh, I mean, anything's possible. Um, you know, my focus really right now is to try and get the win. Uh, it, I, I think after the game it'll be a little bit of reflection. Um, so we'll see what happens at the end of the game. Yeah. All right, so on Saturday, it was one of those days where you had four teams tied for second, and they were all involved in games against each other, and, and you lost a game against Ridgepoint. What were some of the takeaways from that? What do you have to do better tonight against Austin to get your fifth district win? Well, you know, Austin is a, is a very good opponent. They uh, continue to get better. Um, we have to take away from Saturday. Uh, we got to get a little bit better defensively, run our offense uh, a little bit more smoothly, uh, execute better, uh, and just, you know, basically take care of the basketball and play good defense. I mean, pretty simple concept in basketball, uh, really. But, uh, you know, if we can play together tonight, I think, I think we'll be okay. All right. Here in, in Fort Bend ISD, the, there are 11 high schools, and they're really pretty close together, and there are different rivalries. Does it mean that much when you're playing Austin? They're so close, you know, close neighbors like Ridgepoint and Elkins, that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, when Travis opened, uh, we a lot of our kids who were zoned here before it opened were going to Austin. Now we get those kids, so that, of course, it's the neighborhood rivalry. Um, you know, and they, they continue to get better. Uh, Chris is doing a great job over there. Uh, you know, we, we want to make sure that we understand that this is a rivalry game. Uh, it's a playoff atmosphere. We have to win this game. Uh, and so uh, we're going to give it our all tonight. And, you know, hopefully the rivalry will be good. Hopefully it will be a good game. Uh, but hopefully we're victorious at the end. Yeah, and one thing that we understand is the quality of District 26A is so strong that it doesn't matter that Austin's win-loss record in their district games does not look that impressive. I know that you know they're dangerous. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I think everybody in our district is dangerous. Anybody can beat anybody on any given night. Uh, you have to give it your all every time you walk on the court. Um, we've been successful here at Travis, and we know that every time we step on the court, whoever we play, uh, they, they're going after us. So uh, that's our mentality tonight. Our mentality is, you know, uh, we've got to defend our home court. We've got to take care of business. And, uh, you know, one game at a time. We've got to go 1-0 tonight. And that, that's what's been our mindset in practice the past couple days. Just go 1-0 tonight. So, 
That's Brian Martinez filling in for head coach Craig Brownson with the Travis Tigers. Coach Brownson hopefully will be back in the next one. And uh, one final question, you usually do the PA announcing, but since you're the head coach, will someone else be doing that tonight? Uh, I think we're just going to tip it up and let's go tonight. And indeed, that is what is happening as Travis gets the opening tap and handling the ball the first time. Zach Martinez coming off that tap. Travis wearing the home whites with the scarlet and gray. Their main man is Cameron Crockett, wears number five, but there's a steal by Ethan Toe of Austin, unfortunately. He stepped on the sideline, so Travis will get to keep it, unfortunately for Austin. The Bulldogs from peaceful, bucolic Pheasant Creek, which is a very short distance away. Cameron Crockett will throw it in, and Davion Jackson of Austin is right in his face, and he throws it deep into the backcourt to Zach Martinez, who dribbles it up. Austin doesn't have a lot of depth, and you shouldn't expect them to be doing a lot of full court pressing. Now Cameron Crockett, still with Jackson on him, gets a pick, gets free near the free throw line. Three on the way from the top of the key, and it's no good. Rebound comes down to Travis in the hands of Michael Ufat. Now he sends it to the other Martinez, Alex. Now it is Zach driving the right side of the free throw line. Almost lost it, did. Here comes Austin all the way down the floor and a dunk attempt blown. Ryan Anuni couldn't get it to go down. Cameron Crockett gets the rebound for the Tigers. Now it is Alex to Zach between the rings. Dribbling and he is guarded by Brian Scott. Guy used to play for the Orlando, Orlando Magic. And there is the first basket of the game and it comes from Travis's, my, uh, Travis's Jacob Jones. And by the way, I said uh, Brian Scott when I meant Noah Ray. Sorry about that. My first misidentification of a player. Ball loose on the floor. Alex Martinez picks it up, hands the ball off. Wild shot, no good. By Travis's Michael Ufot, but he is fouled in the act of shooting. So he will go to the line. So going into tonight's play in District 26A, the Elkins Knights leading the way with a record of 7-0. Rich Point and Clements tied for second with a record of 5-2. Travis and Bush both at 4-3, tied for fourth. And everybody else is several steps behind. Ufot hits the first free throw. It is now 3-0. Roger Smith with you on VibeFortBend.com. Second free throw by Ufot, in and out, no good. Rebound, batted around and run down by Jacob Jones of Travis. And he drives the baseline and misses, almost gets his own rebound. Austin got their hands on it. Now Jacob Jones has it again. Goes up strong, no good, follows his miss, follows it twice and scores. It is Jacob Jones, the 6'5 senior, who is all over the glass. And a turnover by Austin. They couldn't get it in bounds without stepping on the end line. Unfortunately for them, Jeremy Lusk stepped on the baseline and it's five to nothing, Travis. After that great effort on the putback by Jones. Zach Martinez looking, looking, looking. Got a tall man in front of him, sends it into the corner to Ufot. Drives in for a two point cross court pass to Zach Martinez and he is blocked by Anuni. And now Austin has the ball. Veray hands it to Ethan Toe, gets it into the forecourt. Ethan Toe likes to shoot threes, but I'll bet Travis is going to do everything they can to make sure he doesn't get those clean looks. Davion Jackson loses the basketball. It bounced a little bit too high and passed the baseline. Five to nothing, Travis, and a timeout taken by the Bulldogs. We'll take it with them. This is VibeFortBend.com. Five nothing in the early going. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder Blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. 
Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. We got our sound man in now, and things are going to sound even better. By the way, I want to thank our crack, well, I keep saying that, our outstanding producer, Les Clary, back at the mothership, making sure everything sounds great. So it is five to nothing, Travis, and the Tigers with the basketball. Here they come. Here goes Cameron Crockett driving the right baseline, ball poked away and goes out of bounds. He last touched it. Davion Jackson made the steal. And then Crockett tried to save it at the last instant. It went out of bounds. Brian Anuni to throw it in for Austin. Looking, looking, looking. Gets it in. Brought it into Job Ogunlier. Job, a very patient player, as you'd imagine. Ethan Toe trying to move in on Alex Martin. A little hook pass. Anuni tried the two-hand dunk, and he came up short again. His second failed dunk of the game. Three minutes in, and it's 5 to nothing. Travis Cameron Crockett. Crossover move around. Jackson puts it up off the left iron. No good. Rebound is knocked out of bounds. Agunlier had his hands on it for the Bulldogs. Travis knocked it out. And Travis, with the deeper team, is going to go with a full court press, it looks like, most of the time. Jackson into Anuni. Brian's a big man, but can handle the ball pretty well in the open court. Now he kills his dribble near the free throw line. Gets it to Vare. Now Ethan Toe between the rings. Trying to move in on Alex Martinez. Kills his dribble. Pivoting, pivoting. Gets the ball to Anuni. Drives the right side of the free throw line. And the ball goes off his foot and out of bounds. He pointed the other way. Thought it was last touch by a Tiger. The curly-haired Alex Martinez brings it into Ufot. Now gets the ball back. Now bounces it to the straight-haired twin brother, Alex Martinez. Back to Ufot. Lays it off for Jacob Jones. Can't get his shot. Now drives in. Puts it up. Draws a foul and misses. But he'll get two free throws. We have the Travis Tigers cheerleaders right in front of us. I think you can hear the pom-pom shaking now. Jacob Jones at the free throw line for the Tigers. His first free throw is good, makes it six nothing Tigers. By the way, Friday night we got a barn burner. Be with us at about 7 p.m. as the Hightower Hurricanes host the Marshall Buffs. Marshall leads District 24-5A. The Buffs are undefeated and Hightower has one loss and that only loss was to the Buffs, and now as the, the Bulldogs try to move it up the floor, Ufot stole a pass thrown by Ethan Toe, and he goes all the way in to score and make it nine to nothing. Mayday, mayday, the Bulldogs are going down. Veray gets it knocked out of his hand from behind as he dribbles into the forecourt. He goes out of bounds, and the Dogs will keep it, but Veray is trying to throw the ball in right in front of a very loud student section for Travis. They're giving him a break now. Ramin Hassanse throws it in to Ethan Toe. Dribbling to the right. Bounce pass. Tried to get it in there to Jackson, but the ball knocked out of bounds by the Tigers. Tigers, quick hands, long arms. It's tough to get the ball delivered to your teammate. Ethan Toe to throw it in. Nobody on him. Finally releases it back to Jackson near the midcourt circle. Guarded by Zach Martinez. He traveled before he made his move. Austin still is not on the board. It is nine to nothing, 3.48 to go in the first quarter. Roger Smith with you on VibeFortBend.com. Zach Martinez dribbles to the right. Now moves back toward the middle of the floor, gives the ball to Cameron Crockett. Between the rings, now to Alex Martinez. Three on the way, no good. Vare had good position for the rebound, but it ended away. Ended up coming down in the hands of Ufot, and now Anune grabs it, and Anune is fouled in the backcourt. It won't result in shots. 
And I believe they called that foul on Alex Martinez. Timeout taken. We'll take it with them. One minute to go, or actually there's more than that to go in the first quarter, but it's 9 to nothing, Travis. You're listening to VibeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports. First Tire and Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireandauto.com, and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Back inside the gym at Travis. So tonight we've got Clements taking on Ridge Point. That's a big one that will break the tie for second in district play. So somebody's going to be alone in second place. Uh, two games behind Elkins. I'm predicting Elkins is going to win because they're playing one and six George Ranch tonight at home. And you got these Travis Tigers here with Austin and Bush is taking on Dulles at the Viking ship. Davis inbounds, or I should say Jackson inbounds it to Ethan Toe. Moves into the forecourt for Austin. Hasn't gotten an open look yet. Now it's a, a double team. Cameron Crockett is harassing Ethan Toe. Davion Jackson now has it, guarded by Alex Martinez. Drives the right side of the free throw line and has the ball swatted out of his hands. Jacob Jones showing those quick hands. Jackson will throw it in. It's a high pass. Anuni has it near the right elbow. Dribbles in. Jump stop move goes up. Strong. No good. Rebound goes out of bounds. Last touch by Travis. Cameron Crockett is charged with having touched it last, but he kind of shook his head but I don't think he's going to make a big issue of it. Ethan Toe to throw it in along the baseline. Austin still trying to score with 2.56 to go in this first quarter. Davion Jackson looks over at Coach O'War, who calls out a play. Jackson all the way to the rack, no good. Rebound, Jacob Jones for Travis. Quickly down to Alex. Alex in strong, and the ball was blocked by Job Ogunlier. He throws it away. Cameron Crockett has it. Moves into the forecourt for Travis. Goes cross court to Zach. Now to Alex in the right corner. Entry pass, Jacob Jones spinning, going up strong. Foul, didn't score, but he'll go to the line. Jacob Jones has been good early on here at drawing those fouls and going to the line. First free throw is good to make it 10 to nothing and Travis making substitutions. We've got Justin Mack and Jason Juanetti into the game. Ufot takes a seat. And I didn't see, uh, let's see, Alex Martinez also came in. Second free throw also good, 11 to nothing. We were in this Travis gym when it was an 11-0 game, but that was last Wednesday night when Clements was in here and pulled off a big upset. But the home team is having its way thus far. Davion Jackson on the left wing, guarded by Crockett, sends it all the way around. Now Anuni has it, side to side dribble, meets a double team along the baseline. Toe, three-pointer from the right corner and it's no good, rebound Travis. Here comes Justin Mack. Mack all the way into the paint and he's hammered as he goes through, he draws the foul. Correction, he just lost it out of bounds. So the Bulldogs have it. Hassan Say, side to side dribble. He's number 10, guarded by number 10. Zach Martinez, now he meets the double team, gets a pick from Anuni, hands it to Toe. Toe with a little hesitation move, launches the three, triple toe! And it's good to make it 11 to three. The dogs are on the board, and it took them six and a half minutes to do it. Justin Mack gets it over to Zach Martinez. 
Justin Max side to side dribble, trying to get free three near the free throw circle. Now it's Juan Eddy. Move down the left side of the line, off the glass and good. I said left side of the line, I meant left side of the lane. Stolen by Crockett, in he goes. He's hit and fouled by Ogunlier. And it'll be Cameron Crockett going to the line. Cameron Crockett, according to the roster, is 6'6", and that looks about right. 13-3 is our score. So Austin has a disadvantage as far as depth is concerned as Crockett misses the first free throw. But it's, it's even worse because Tylen Harris, who's, who's not even here, he's going to be back next week. He's got concussion protocol. Mike Baines was suited up for Austin and warmed up, but he is not available. He's not going to play. That's what Coach Chris O'War told us in the countdown to tip-off show. Second free throw by Crockett, also no good. And Anuni had the rebound, but it slipped out of his hands. And so Travis is going to throw it in underneath the basket at which they're shooting with 101 to go in the first quarter. It is Zach, gets it into Mack. Now Juanetti right through the paint, over Anuni, around him actually, and in with a left hand, kind of finger rolled it off the window. It is 15 to 3. Travis with some pressure in the backcourt, but not as intense as before. Ethan Toe between the feet dribble. Sends the ball to Hassan Say. Hassan Say also got that between the feet dribble going. Now there goes Toe, moving to the right baseline, or right sideline rather. Anune spins near the free throw line. Hassan Say, three on the way, short. No good, rebound, batted back to Anuni. Here come the dogs with another chance. And it's a jump stop move by Anuni, and he traveled. He can't believe the call. 19 seconds to go in the quarter. Travis leading 15 to three and might go after the last shot. Bryant, uh, Burhan Topuz is on the floor for the Bulldogs. Toe intercepts the pass by Mack and he double dribbled. He thought about the three, started dribbling just too many ideas in his head about where to go, and he double dribble. 12 seconds to go. Travis in the backcourt. Hassan Say guarding both Martinez's. That's not easy. Here goes Justin Mack into the forecourt. Mack has it back on the right wing. One second, got to launch it. There it goes. Off the glass and in and out, no good. But a good effort, and Travis in command. 15 to three, they lead it. After one quarter, this is Roger Smith. On VibeFortBend.com, we'll be back with quarter number two. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder Blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. We see all you do to get work done, whether it's keeping your office clean or redesigning your space for three or 300. Our business is to keep business going. Buy online and pick up in store or get free next business day shipping at Office Depot, Office Max and OfficeDepot.com. We'd like to thank the folks at Office Depot, Southwest Freeway at Williams Trace in Sugarland, taking care of business every day so we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. Jeremy Lust. Handling the ball for the Austin Bulldogs. Moves to the right wing. Guarded by Zach Martinez. Now it's Davion Jackson. Three on the way and good. 15 to six is our score as the Bulldogs, after a rough first quarter, try to dig their way back into it. Now they apply the full court press. Noah Veray in the backcourt. 
Applying some pressure and he forces a loose ball. Travis has Thomas Graham on the floor trying to gain control of it and he does. It's a held ball and the arrow favors the Tigers so Zach Martinez will throw it in along the baseline. Anuni guarding him and he gets it in and quick shot by Thomas Graham. It's no good but an offensive foul on Graham as he knocked Jeremy Lusk down. So it looks like Austin is going to be contested every time they bring the ball up the floor, at least until Travis is satisfied that the issue of this game is settled. Alex Martinez swats a ball back out of bounds as Austin tried to inbound it to Ethan Toe. Now the taller Davion Jackson will step up there and throw it in. Now he gets it into Lusk, streaking down the right sideline. There he goes, one on three. Anuni from the right corner, off the corner of the backboard. And that's a turnover. Basically, the ball is out if it hits the corner of the backboard and then the support that comes down out of the ceiling. Travis leading 15 to six. Cross court pass, Zach Martinez. Tried to throw it deep, but he's going to dribble it across the line. Lusk on him. Now Vare is guarding Mack. Mack with a bounce pass. Gets it to Juan Eddy. Now the Martinez twins throwing the ball back and forth. Down the lane goes Alex, and he scores. 17-6. Tigers on top. 6.37 to go before halftime, and we have a special halftime feature you're going to want to hear. But a travel caught on Austin, another turnover, and they're just going to be having a hard time getting looks and scoring points tonight, I think. But as soon as uh, there is a little brief break, I'll tell you what's coming your way at halftime. You're going to want to stick around. The Martinez twins play and catch. Thomas Graham, the intended target, on a pass from Alex, and it gets thrown out of bounds. Okay, so at halftime, if you know a football player, if you want to be a high school football player, if you date a high school football player, if anybody in your life is a high school football player or you are caring about one, okay? There's going to be a big event on February the 12th. Noah Vare hits a three-pointer for Austin to make it 17-9. They have only three scores, but they've all been three-pointers. So we'll talk to Tony Thompson and Elkins' dad about that big event coming your way on February 12th that'll help football players who are trying to get some attention. Alex Martinez hits a three for the Tigers. The lead is back up to 11, 20 to 9. Davion Jackson into the forecourt, side-to-side dribble. Guarded by the smaller Zach Martinez, gets a pick from Toe. Still dribbling is Jackson, side to side. Tries to get in on Max. Step back, can't shoot the three. Now Toe has it on the right wing. Gets a pick from Anuni into the paint. Gives it to Murray toward the circle. Gives it back to Jackson, and he traveled before he made his move. That's happened to him a couple of times. Jacob Jones off the bench for Travis. Replaces Jason Juanetti. And... Hassan Say comes in for toe for the Bulldogs. Justin back in the backcourt, sprinting past Hassan Say into the forecourt, all the way into the paint, and dishes at the last instant to Jacob Jones. The shot is no good, but a whistle before the shot. And I guess it was a charge before the delivery of the pass. Here goes Jeremy Lusk, nice move. Toward the baseline, runs out of room, kicks it back. Beret, three, short, no good. Rebound, fought for, and Lusk runs it down. Now Jackson, three, off the glass and no good. Rebound, Travis. Juanetti has it. Juanetti moving into the forecourt. He can move well for a big man, but swatted out of his hand from behind by Davion Jackson. Still 20-9, to nine, Travis leading with 4.43 to go in the first half. And a uh, little question about substitution. All right, Jason Juanetti comes out and Ufats comes back in for the Tigers. Michael Ufats. 
5'11", senior guard. Travis inbounding underneath the basket at the far end of the floor. That's the one they're shooting at. And Mack inbounds it to Ufot through the free throw circle. Little floater, no good off the right side of the rim. And Noah Vare grabs the rebound for Austin. A couple of Tigers clutching at the ball, even while Vare was trying to get free. Now Lusk has it in the forecourt. Trying to move in on Alex Martinez. Moves to his left, kicks it back out, where it is stolen by Martinez. He's cut off by Vare, but gives it to Mack, and Mack is into the forecourt. Lusk on him, trying not to foul. And Mack puts it up, a little floater with the left hand along the baseline, and it's good. 22 to nine. Getting to the midway point of the first quarter, or second quarter, rather. Noah Vare moving in on Ufat, hands the ball to Lusk. Ufat switches over to guard Jeremy Lusk. Moves to his left. And entry pass to Hassense, a nice one. He has to whip it all the way back and into the backcourt. Ufat grabs it all the way to the rack, no good. Rebound comes down to Ogunlie for Austin. Hassense, left hand floater in the lane and it's good. That's the first two pointer that the Bulldogs have scored tonight. They trail 22 to 11. 3.27 to go in the second quarter. Justin Mack guarded by Hassan Say. One hand pass over there to Alex Martinez. Now Cameron Crockett back into the game. Now an entry pass inside to Alex Martinez. Back out to Mack. Three on the way. It bounces off the rim and over the backboard. So now the ball will belong to Austin. Toe comes back in for the Bulldogs. And so does Burhan Topuz. Lust to throw it in, gets it to toe. Looking forward to the baseball season as always and Tyler Doe is a pretty good player for the Bulldogs. You got Ethan Toe on the basketball game, uh, basketball team and Tyler Doe on the baseball team. Ethan Toe trying to get free, Ufot knocked him down and a foul on Michael Ufot of Travis. 22 to 11 is our score. Travis scored the first 11 points of the game and since then the two teams have played each other on even terms. Friday night, 7 p.m. It is Hightower hosting Marshall, the biggest District 24-5A boys game of the year. Here goes Toe driving, his foot slipped, but he got a pass out of his hand to Lusk. Lusk is now dribbling, moving in on Ufot, goes all the way to the hoop, and Jacob Jones whacks him on the arm as he goes by. Tiger fans didn't like the call. Jeremy Lusk, working very hard, goes to the line, wipes each hand on the respective sole, or the you know, right hand on the bottom of the right shoe, left hand on the bottom of the left shoe. Lusk. Taking his time. His shot is up and in and out, no good. <laughs> 229 remaining in the first half. Davion Jackson comes into the game for Travis and I'm sorry for Austin and Topuz goes back to the Bulldogs bench. They're chanting air ball. Lusk hits the second one, nothing but net. That's how you answer the air ball jeers. 22 to 12, Juanetti in the forecourt. Clear path to the basket, but his shot came up a little bit short. Here comes Lusk driving down the floor for the dogs. Looks for Toe in the right corner, drives the baseline, runs out of room, back door off the glass, no good. Juanetti gobbles up the rebound for the Tigers. Gives the ball to Cameron Crockett who walks it across the timeline. There goes Cameron dribbling with the left hand. Now Alex Martinez in the left wing. Now they send it to the top of the key as they get the ball to Nelson Chukwukelu. And there he gets his shot. Chukwukelu launching the three from the right corner. 25 to 12 is our score. We're under two minutes to go. Ethan Toe has it. Guarded by Zach Martinez. 
Ethan Toe, side to side he goes, gives the ball to Davion Jackson. Now Martinez picks him up. There goes Jackson, drives to the left elbow, puts it up. In and out, tough luck shot. And the rebound taken by Chukwu Kelu. Here come the Travis Tigers. Crockett thought about the three, now whips it over to Wanetti. The three is short. And the rebound comes down to Alex Martinez, back to Zach. His three is long, Wanetti gets the rebound. Goes up strong and blocked by Job Ogunlie. 109 to go in the half, 25-12 Travis. Zach Martinez inbounds it to Alex. Quick release, three in and out, no good. Rebound to Nooney for Austin. Quickly ahead to Davion Jackson. It's a one on two, and Zach Martinez fouled him. One minute exactly to go in the game. No, what? The ball belongs to Travis, so I'm not sure what the call was, but it was not a foul on Travis, obviously. 25 to 12, there goes Alex Martinez into the fourth court. Ethan Toe guarding him, and a travel on Alex. He doesn't like it. Jeremy Lusk then knocks the ball out of his hands. Little bit of gamesmanship there, but uh, when you're down by 13, you better have a big comeback in the tank. 45 seconds to go in the half, 25 to 12, Austin trailing, and here come the dogs. Jackson blocked by Juanetti. Zach Martinez to Cameron Crockett. He's going to go in for a jam attempt, but he's blocked by Anuni. It's a foul on Anuni. He can't believe he was called for it. But you know what? As long as you don't let somebody dunk on you, you're all right. You're all right, Brian. Crockett wanted that one bad. I was ready to say slam dunk, but it was just a dunk attempt. First free throw good by Crockett, 26 to 12. 31 and 18 hundredths of a second to go in our second quarter. Crockett ready for another free throw. And way short with that one, Anuni has it. Half a minute to go for the Dogs to get a score before the halftime intermission. Stick around for our great halftime interview. Ethan Toe gets it to Jackson, directing traffic. Anuni also directing traffic even though he doesn't have the ball. Now they bounce, pass it to him. Back to Toe, three on the way, in and out. No good, rebound Mack. Ball batted around, and Crockett saves it. Three seconds to go, he launches it, and it's about four feet short, and that's how the half will end. Roger Smith with you on ViteFortBend.com. Halftime coming at you. Our score is 26 to 12. Travis over Austin. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder Blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. 
Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. Okay, it's halftime here on VikeFortMen.com. This is a basketball broadcast, but we're talking about football right now with Tony Thompson, a well-known Elkins dad. His son, Corey, played at LSU and has played in the NFL, probably not done with his pro career. You got Blake Thompson, his other son, who is at Blinn Junior College right now, and also Braden Thompson playing baseball at Elkins. Welcome in, Tony. Thank you, Roger. I appreciate it. Well, you and another good buddy of yours who is also a dad of some fine athletes and was a fine athlete himself, Donnie Smith, have put together an idea that kind of addresses a problem. And the problem is that with the transfer portal being so active for college football players and also a class of players who during the COVID year were granted an extra year if they wanted it, so many kids who are freshmen and sophomores in high school just aren't getting looks and what are you and Donnie putting together so that these players can get some eyes on them of, of people that are going to make decisions about recruiting? Sure. Well, a couple of things, Roger. Um, we put together, obviously, some workout weekends that we do. We just started back on our uh, Friday night regiments out at Cotton Ranch. Then uh, on Sundays over at St. Thomas High School where we run our uh, football workouts, if you will. So we've just started that back up to get guys ready for the upcoming spring and that kind of thing. But we've also taken an initiative to put together a uh, Texas Exposure Camp, which will be held on February 12th, also at St. Thomas High School. And the beauty of these workouts and camps is that we're affiliated, of course, with a lot of uh, college coaches, uh, folks that can kind of get the word out. Um, we've had Combine in the past, and we've had some, some big-name schools there looking at folks, and it's kind of helped with recruiting, you know. Um, a lot of times these kids did get passed over last year. My son Blake at Blinn got passed over on some things, but it's because of what, the way the, the uh, transfer portal is right now. So what we're doing is giving these guys extra exposure. When I hear about the transfer portal, I don't know as many things about it as you do, but I guess the, the metaphor is low-hanging fruit. There are so many colleges that are just going to stock their rosters with players that were disgruntled at some other college and decide to make themselves available. And we want these kids that are still in high school to still get all of the attention that they've gotten. So I know this February 12th event is very important and you and Donnie Smith have put together this organization called Beast Mode Elite, BME, and it's called a camp, but it's really a combine, basically, right? Yes, that's correct. So we'll be out there doing drills, much like you see if you've ever seen the NFL combine or like a pro day workout at a college. These drills are exactly the same. They really don't change. So we go out there and we'll, you know, we'll get some 40 times. We'll, we'll get possibly some one-on-one -on -one drills done. We'll do a lot of individual work at their uh, individual positions. And this will allow for some folks to get some eyes on them and you know, do some evaluation and possibly get these kids more exposure to some opportunities that they would not have had, you know, had we not had this combine. And you mentioned your son, Blake, and I don't want to put you on the spot here, but I'll bet you can answer this with a couple of anecdotal situations. You said that Blake got passed over, and he probably would be at a four-year school, but, you know, he's at Blinn right now, and, you know, he'll still probably be able to build a very good college career, but... Um, can you name another athlete or two that's fairly well known around here that uh, just hasn't gotten the opportunity they're really worthy of in college football? Well, let's back up. Uh, if you if we take the example at Blinn, many years ago, a lot of people know that Cam Newton, who's in you know NFL veteran quarterback, uh, Cam started out at one school and ended up going to Blinn. Uh, to, to bloom, to grow, and then he transferred out of Blinn and went to Auburn. So 
from Auburn, of course, he went to the draft and has done very well in the NFL. So that's kind of the route we're talking about. But there are other, uh, there are a number of other kids out here, and I'm, I'm drawing a blank on names right now, but there are a number of other kids who have gone to different Texas junior colleges and have gone on to big four-year schools and have blossomed and played in the NFL and done very well. Um, so that's kind of the blueprint for some of our kids. Everybody's path is different. Some kids are going to go right out of high school. Some kids are going to go to junior college. Some kids, you know, are just phenoms, and, you know, they'll be three years and done in their school and right into the pros. So the thing is, the end goal is if you are going to spend that amount of time, that amount of work, getting up in the morning, out working guys, bypassing things, you know, when your other buddies are out having fun, you want to make it pay off. The payoff? Parents and players is a college education. That's the payoff. The benefit to that is if you can parlay that into a professional career, then you've won twice. But this is really about getting yourself in school, not you know, not hanging that big bill on your parents, and then still getting the opportunity to play in the NFL. We're talking with Tony Thompson. He is an Elkins dad. His son Corey has played pro football and is probably going to continue playing next year. And you also have Blake Thompson. We're, we're still waiting for him to get that chance at a four-year school right now. He's at Blinn. And uh, let's talk about what people, uh, you know, if people are listening to this, they either are high school athletes or they know somebody and would love to see uh, that young man, if he plays football, get a chance. And so tell us all about how to contact you or Donnie Smith and if they're interested in being there on the 12th of January, I'm sorry, February, 12th of February at St. Thomas to be a part of this combine. Sure, uh, the easiest thing to do is, you know, go on social media, Instagram, uh, look for BME Beast Mode Elite. Uh, all the information is there. Uh, the flyer will be posted here pretty soon, uh, February 12th, St. Thomas High School. Uh, it is a pre registered event, it is well run, very organized, and our information is on that on the uh, Instagram page. Uh, we have a web page that's being redesigned right now. So I want to direct everybody towards the Instagram page, Beast Mode Elite. And I think uh, it's pretty straightforward. I don't think it's anything confusing about it. Uh, we're going to go out there. We're going to you know, encourage the kids. We're going to get them warm. Uh, we'll take care of the kids and make sure that they understand why they're there and give them the opportunity to go out there and shine. All right, Tony, thank you. And by the way, just in case uh, you were not in a position to write that down or something, get in touch with me. I'll route you to Tony Thompson and Donnie Smith, and we'll get you hooked up and uh, tell you everything you need to know about this, this special event that's happening on February the 12th. It's, it's going to have a lot of great football talent. You know, some of these, these guys who were freshmen and sophomores in high school this year who really need to start building those reputations that will lead to the opportunity. Yep, it'll, uh, it'll be one of those things where it starts out, you know, going into the spring season, everybody will be uh, ready to go for spring football. Should be a, a full go for everybody this year. Uh, and then, of course, the off season, the summer. That's, that's really where it's going to be important because you're going to have a lot of uh, university camps. You're going to have colleges coming in. Uh, you're going to have the coaches coming back to the schools before school is out. So hopefully everything will return back to normal and uh, we can start getting our guys from the high schools back in where they belong. All right, that's Tony Thompson, and I'd like to keep talking to you about this, but the third quarter is about to start here real soon. Thanks for being with us on our VikeFortBend.com halftime. We'll, we'll get, uh, get the word out to make sure that people know about what's going on with Beast Mode Elite. Thanks, Roger. I appreciate everything, and we'd love to see all the kids out there. All right, we'll be back on VikeFortBend.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Thank you, Travis Cheerleaders. Wow, we'll, we'll give you a longer message to say next time. 
and we'll give you more advance warning. Yes, you are listening to the Travis Tigers and the Austin Bulldogs on BiteFortBend.com, and it is 26 to 12, Travis on top, so the Tigers have been in command. However, you know, it's just 14 points. Anything can happen, and Davion Jackson inbounds to Ethan Toe as the Austin Bulldogs go from left to right. Jeremy Lusk has it, kills his dribble. He's got a couple of Martinez brothers guarding him. There goes Davion Jackson, a little jump stop, and he let the ball come out of his hands. I think he was trying to get it to Anuni, and I think Anuni believed that Davion Jackson was going to go all the way to the hoop. We do get a press to start the third quarter. Now, here goes Cameron Crockett, three from the right wing, in and out, no good. Rebound Lusk for the Bulldogs. Gets it to toe far sideline, there he goes. Diagonal route, kicks it back out to Davion Jackson, into the paint he goes. Ball poked away and a foul on Alex Martinez. I believe so. And I know that he has at least three fouls. Ethan Toe to throw in for Austin, gets it to Anuni. Thinking about the mid-range jumper, back and in, back and in, goes up strong off the side of the backboard, no good. And it goes out of bounds. Brian Anuni has not been able to muscle his way to the hoop the way he likes in this game. Here goes Ufot, gets the ball to Jacob Jones. He's blocked by Anuni. What a beautiful play. Anuni hustling down. Now Jeremy Lusk picks up the ball after that block. Lusk moves to his right. Guarded by Ufot, gets a pick, gets free, but not close enough to the hoop. There goes Davion Jackson. Right sideline, right baseline, I should say. Floated one up off the back iron, no good. And they're one and done. Travis grabs the rebound. Zach Martinez has it, hands it off to Ufot. He's near the midcourt circle. Now on the right side, it is Crockett. There goes Alex Martinez, stops at the right elbow, gives it back to Crockett, thinking about the three. Side to side dribble into the paint, scoops it up. No good, but he is fouled. I wonder if this will be a foul in the act of shooting. I, I do believe it's going to be. And I believe they got Brian Anuni for the foul. Free throw, rolls off, no good. Still nobody has scored as we are one minute and 41 seconds into the third quarter, 26 to 12. Travis Tigers on top. Crockett's second free throw is good. 27 to 12. A new need to throw it in, Ufad on him. Throws it to Toe. Toe meets a double team, backtracks a little bit, gets it to a now into the fourth court. Ryan side to side dribble, hands it back to Davion Jackson. Chris Owar, the head coach for the Dogs, telling his guys to kind of do something to draw out that Travis defense and spread out those people. There goes Jackson off the glass from the left side, it's good. Back to a 13 point lead, 27 to 14. Crockett throws it away almost, Ufot. Hit by Jackson, but Jackson hit the floor. Ufot puts one up, no good. Jacob Jones lost the control of the rebound. It goes out of bounds. Five forty to go in quarter number three, and Jeremy Lusk to throw it in. There was a little bit of a discussion. I think they had to wipe up the floor where Jackson fell down over there a moment ago. Ethan Toe guarded by Crockett. And he's trying to get away from Crockett and Ufot. He does, gets into the forecourt. And a long pass that's off target. He was trying to find Davion Jackson, who was all alone in the right corner. It was a good idea, but Toe was under such duress that the pass was off target. Zach Martinez guarded by Noah Raspberry Vare. Here goes Zach Martinez. Alley oop! Jacob Jones blew it! And it came off his hands in a sheepish, embarrassed smile from Jacob Jones. Anuni to throw it in, but not before we get a timeout. We'll be back on BiteFortBend.com. 
First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireandauto.com, and claim your savings. First Iron Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Neville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Austin hanging in there, trailing by 13, 27 to 14, 511 to go in the third. Brian Anuni to throw it in. Gets it to toe. Zach guarding him in the backcourt. Throws it forward to Anuni. Now he gets it to Jackson, right wing. Thought about the three. Travis fans thought he traveled, but he did not. Ethan Toe, guarded by Zach, gets it back to Davion Jackson, moves to his left, gets a pick, launches the three, yes! It is 27 to 17. Dogs trying to fight their way back into it. Zach Martinez goes between Vare and Jackson all the way to the hoop and past the Nooney and scores. Anuni made a attempt at blocking the shot, but that gets it to 29 to 17. Lusk moving down the left sideline, meets Ufot, side to side dribble, moves toward the corner, bounce pass to Vare, almost lost it, gathered it in, back to Lusk, left wing, drives inside the arc, gives the ball to Vare, now into Anuni, tried to dunk it, he was fouled by Zach Martinez. And Brian Anuni goes to the line with 4.13 to go in the third quarter. Anuni taking his time. There it goes. Good. 29 to 18. They're taking a lot of time between free throws. There's a little substitution. Ufot comes off for Travis, and I didn't see who went in for him as Anuni makes the second free throw. And the guy that came in was Thomas Graham of the Tigers. 29 to 19. 4.05 to go in the third. Crockett hands the ball off to Justin Mack. Now Jason Juanetti. Zach Martinez, Juanetti, top of the key, trying to move in on a Gunlier. Sends it to Crockett in the right corner, in and out with a three, and it's no good. Anuni grabs the rebound, and here comes Austin. Jeremy Lusk, ahead of the pack, almost lost it. Has to reroute himself. Now Davion Jackson passes up the three in the left corner. Floater off the glass, no good. Rebound Anuni, and he's hacked as he goes back up. He'll get more free throws. 336 to go in the third. We'll see if these Bulldogs have enough gas left in the tank to make the comeback as they're down 10. But they are playing hard. Anuni, free throw good. Zach Martinez sits down. Alex comes in for him. Anuni ready to shoot one more. And it's good. The score is 29 to 21. They had to adjust the scoreboard. So if I gave you a wrong score, it's because I had bad information. Juan Eddy with a scoop shot that didn't go in. And the rebound comes down to the dogs. Davion Jackson into the forecourt. There he goes driving on Juan Eddy, puts it up, and he's pushed as he goes through. So it's an eight point game. 29 to 21, and Davion Jackson is going to the line.
3.19 to go in the third quarter. There will not be foul shots. It'll be Ethan Toe to throw it in. Wide open, right corner. Agunlier all the way to the hoop. Kicks it back out to Lusk. Drives in. Back out to Jackson. Three on the way. Good. It is 29 to 24. A five point game. Crockett guarded by Lusk in the backcourt. He may have a dramatic finish after all. There goes Crockett trying to drive around Lusk. Five against number five. Here goes Crockett, still dribbling, kills his dribble. And it's a three second call on the Travis Tigers. 29 to 24, dogs down by only five. We might see a Travis timeout soon. Toe grabs the inbounds pass. Trying to maneuver his way past Alec Martinez. Travis fans calling for D up. There goes Toe, sends it to Jackson, drives to the right wing, trying to find his shot. Euro step move to Agunlier, drives in, and off the glass and good! We've got a three-point game, it's 29 to 26. Here comes Alex Martinez. Jackson on him, almost lost it, there goes Martinez. And he is called for traveling. Traveling. And even though this is the Travis Gym, it sounds like he could be at Austin because, well, they're such close neighbors. There are kids that go to Austin whose house is closer to this gym than some of the Travis students' houses. Here come the dogs. Davion Jackson down the far sideline. Into the forecourt. Moves between the rings, guarded by Crockett, the two tallest players on the floor. And there's a foul. It was Crockett getting Jackson with the body in the open court. And we're not in the bonus. So there won't be, oh yes, there will be free throws. I guess maybe we are, we couldn't possibly be in the bonus. But I guess he was deemed to be in the act of shooting. Had he played by Jackson, his first free throw is short. And the Travis fans giving him the business. Davion Jackson. Trying to make it a two point game. It's already a one possession game. Second free throw is good. 29 to 27. Quickly into the forecourt, Juan Eddy drives into the free throw circle, finds his shot. No good, rebound fought for, and it goes out of bounds off Travis. The dogs will keep it, or will they? Seems like they should. How in the world could that be uh, Travis Ball? Well, it is. Zach into Crockett, and Crock was fouled by Lusk. Lusk knocked him out of bounds. But that will not, Daphne, will not be a shooting foul. 138 to go in the third. And this third quarter has been all Austin Bulldogs. Zach Martinez looking for a pick, trying to move in on toe. Goes left, now goes right. Sends it to Alex in the right corner. He runs out of room. Ball stolen by Agunlier. Now to Anuni. And quickly ahead to Lusk. Into the forecourt. Waiting for his teammates to arrive. Moves over to the left. He's at the top of the key thinking about the shot. But he's going to hang on to it. Gives it to Toe. Fakes the shot. Drives in. Kills his dribble. Meets a double team. And we got a held ball situation. The ball will belong to the Travis Tigers if it's a held ball. And it is. For a moment there, I thought Zach Martinez was just waiting for them to call a foul on him, but it was not a foul. It was just held ball, and the arrow points the direction the Tigers would prefer. Ufot comes in for Travis. Alex Martinez will take a break. So on the floor for Travis, you've got Ufot, Zach Martinez, Cameron Crockett, Jason Juanetti, and Thomas Graham. 
But we got a timeout. We'll take it. We'll be back. This is VibeFortBend.com. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireandauto.com, and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. One oh six to go in the third quarter and the Austin Bulldogs only trail by two. 29 to 27. They were down 26 to 12 at the half. So I might not be a smart man, but uh, let's see. The dogs have outscored the Tigers by 12 in this third period. Jason Wanetti moving around the perimeter, kills his dribble, throws it to Zach Martinez, back into Wanetti. Goes around Anuni. He traveled, got away with it. Ball shot missed, but Juanetti follows it in. It's 31 to 27. 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. There goes Ethan Toe. Gives it to Davion Jackson, guarded by Crockett. Davion trying to move his teammates around. Now gets a pick. He's inside the free throw circle. Gives it stolen away by Crockett, who fouls Jackson. Crockett simply pushed him out of the way. And the officials weren't going to let him get away with it. 29.27 to go in the third quarter. Hello again to Craig Brownson, head coach of these Travis Tigers, who is, because of virus protocols, is at home, but he expects to be at the next game. Brian Martinez filling in for him as head coach. Austin with it in the forecourt. Anuni, three-point range. That's not his shot. Turns around, gives it to Toe. Toe guarded by Martinez. Now it's a Gunlier, side to side dribble, clock at 12. Gets the ball to Lusk between the rings, nowhere near the, the basket. Now he drives to the left elbow, runs out of room. What happened? Traveling on Lusk. And Travis leading by four with four and two tenths seconds to go. We'll bring it in, they'll try to move it quickly down the floor. There goes Zach Martinez, cross midcourt, lets it fly and way short. Good defense there in the open court by Lusk, and that's how the third quarter ends. 31 to Travis, hanging on to the lead over the Austin Bulldogs. This is VibeFortBend.com. When you watch Team USA go for the gold, you don't just want Wi-Fi that's fast. You want Michaela Schifrin fast. You want Eat My Powder blink and you'll miss it. I ski faster than you drive fast. You want Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig, power all your devices and watch every single wow-worthy moment fast. You want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. Quarter number four coming your way on VibeFortBend.com and the Austin Bulldogs have a chance here. 31 to 27, they trail the Travis Tigers, and Austin is not playing for a playoff opportunity. They're not going to get that because they come into the Knights play one and six, but Travis at four and three after losing to Clements and Ridgepoint in consecutive games. If they lose tonight, they'll really be in a tough spot to squeeze into the playoffs. Austin has it. Ethan Toe gets a pick from Anuni. And there is a foul call, I guess a moving pick on Anuni. That's right. So 15 seconds into the fourth quarter. Travis gets the ball back, leading by four. It was 26 to 12, Travis at the half. So they only scored five points in the third. Now Cameron Crockett sends it to Jacob Jones near the midcourt circle. 
Looks for someone to pass to. Now Zach Martinez has it. Now to Ufat. Now it's Juan Eddy fakes an inside pass. There goes Ufat. Drives the left side of the free throw line. A little baby hook. No good. Rebound to Nuni. Anuni with the defense there. Ethan Toe gets it to Lusk down the left sideline right in front of the Bulldog bench. Lusk reroutes himself, gets out of the corner. Now he's between the rings. Guarded by Zach Martinez, gives it to Toe. Now it is Davion Jackson and Martinez switches off onto him. There goes Jackson to the hoop. A little bit too hard, in and out, no good. Jacob Jones the rebound for Travis. There goes Juan Eddy, runs out of room. Kicks it back to Ufot, three on the way, no good, it's short. And the rebound comes down to Lusk for Austin. Quickly ahead to Jackson. This is gonna be a dunk attempt. He's fouled by Zach Martinez. Pretty impressive when a guy like Zach Martinez, who is at least half a foot shorter than Davion Jackson, can prevent the dunk. But it's still a four-point game, just as it was at the end of three quarters. And it became a two-point game just a few minutes ago. And Jackson can get it back to that point. His first free throw is good. Alex Martinez and Justin Mack come off the bench. For Travis, Ufot takes a seat. And I believe Zach Martinez also does. And the dogs are in the bonus. Free throw good. 31 to 29. <laughs> Alex Martinez gets it to Mack. Toe pressing Martinez quickly down the floor. Juanetti driving all the way in. And he's blocked by Anuni. Anuni. Anuni didn't think he committed a foul. And it looked like a pretty clean play from here. But it doesn't matter what it looked like from here. It only matters what it looks like through the eyes of the officials. Two shots coming for Jason Wanetti. Keeps that right foot forward a little bit. First free throw, ratatats, and goes down through. 32 to 29. Wanetti. Spins the ball, airborne, in and out, no good, rebound to Nooney. Dogs, if they want to shoot a three, could tie it up. Here comes Lusk. Lusk still dribbling, nobody really on him at the moment. And now he moves over to the left, still dribbling. To the left baseline, the ball came off his hand. And I guess one of the Tigers tipped it away. 6.14 to go, and we got a three-point game. Ethan Toe to throw it in along the baseline. Way back there to Lusk. Shook his man. Goes up for a layup and is fouled by Jacob Jones of Travis. So he'll go to the line. Like I said, dogs are in the benefit of being in the bonus. Or as Telly Sabalas would have said way back when, it's bonus time, baby. By the way, um, in our last games, uh, the ones Friday night and Saturday, we paid tributes to Meat Loaf, a Texas legend. Lusk, first free throw, good. 32 to 30. Jeremy can cut it to one here. With 6.09 left. And the players alongside the free throw lane all poised for the rebound in case there is one. Lusk taking his time, spins it. Left-handed shooter in the air and good. <laughs> it rolled around for a full second. 32-31, Travis only up by a, a single point. Juanetti moves left, gives the ball to Jacob Jones. Now to Alex Martinez as he listens to his dad who's filling in his head coach tonight. Gets some instructions. Now Cameron Crockett to Alex Martinez. Meets a double team back to Crockett between the rings. They're not in a rush to get a shot off. Trying to move around Lusk. Meets a double team. Crockett kills his dribble. Cross court pass to Mack. Mack trying to move in on Agunlier. And he traveled. 
The Dogs defense is coming through in some clutch situations. 5.35 to go before the end of this game, or at least the end of regulation time. Austin will have the ball trailing by one when we come back. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. All right, 5.35 to go. The Austin Bulldogs, what a second half they've played. Very determined. They've come from 14 down to get within one of the Travis Tigers. On the floor for the Dogs, you've got Davion Jackson, Jeremy Lusk, Brian Anuni, Joe Bogunlier, and Ethan Toe. Five and a half minutes to go. Jeremy Lusk moving in across... The timeline where he meets Ufot, gives the ball to Davion Jackson. Gets it back to Lusk, entry pass to Anuni. From in close, his shot is altered by Jacob Jones of Travis and the Tigers come away with the ball, still leading by one, 32 to 31. Cameron Crockett, cross court pass to Mack, calling out a play. Gets it to Ufot, now to Jacob Jones, near the midcourt circle, gives it back to Mack. Under five minutes to go in regulation time. Travis leading 32 to 31. Jacob Jones looking for an opening, but hands the ball to Mack. Bounce pass to Jones. They are just bleeding off some time here. Now Mack has it, guarded by Ethan Toe. Almost lost it, has to pick it up and throw it. And it's a timeout taken by Travis. We'll take it with him. Still 32 to 31. This is VikeFortBend.com. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireauto.com, and claim your savings. First Tire Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireauto.com. Be sure to be with us at about 6.45 p.m. on Friday night as it's the Marshall Buffs undefeated in District 24 5A boys play. Going to be taking on the Hightower Hurricanes who have only one loss in district play and that was to Marshall. Marshall is trying to get higher up in the top 10 in the state. Travis with the ball leading 32-31. Crockett inbounds to Jacob Jones. Now Mack has it on left wing. Anuni guarding him. Mack starts to dribble. Moves left, now right. Guys moving farther away from the hoop and gets the ball to Jacob Jones. Guarded by Toe. Toe tips the pass, and it's stolen by Agunlier. And he hands it to Jackson for Austin. The dog's down by one. We're approaching the four-minute mark, and here they come. It is Toe with the basketball, gives it back to Jackson. Now Jackson to Anuni. He's not a three-point shooter, hands it to Toe. Back to Anuni, backing in, backing in, kills his dribble. Now sends it all the way back to Lusk near the midcourt stripe. Lusk wants a pick, hands the ball to Jackson, shake and bake, down through the lane, gets it up and in the Oh, he scored to make it 33-32. The dogs have claimed the lead. Just over three and a half minutes to go. Mack with Lusk on him. Side to side dribble, trying to get free. Drives in, gives the ball to Alex Martinez. Does not shoot, kicks it back out to Crockett. Now a three from the corner, and it's no good. Rebound, toe and knock down. Ethan Toe in the open court. 
hustles to get the ball and drew a foul. And you get the you can't do that cheer from the Austin boys, the sub varsity teams. You know how loud a bunch of teenage boys can do and they get can be when they get together. Ethan Toe at the free throw line, his Bulldogs already leading 33 to 32. Toe's free throw is in and out, no good. Rebound Cameron Crockett. But he throws the ball away! Zach Martinez is claiming that he, as the intended recipient of the pass, was pushed. But the officials didn't see that happen, and so it'll be Bulldog basketball with Toe to throw it in near the friendly basket. Toe, long pass to Anuni. They get it in. Now Jeremy Lusk near the midcourt circle, guarded by Zach Martinez. Taking his time, moving side to side, not really advancing. Now there he goes down the left side of the free throw line. Scoops it up, no good. Rebound Martinez. The shot was disrupted by Jacob Jones. Cameron Crockett into the paint. There he goes. Finger roll blocked. But the ball is taken by Toe. Now it's taken back by Travis. Juan Eddy shoots, and he's fouled. This is not exactly an artful game, but boy, it is intense. And it's exciting, and we have a one-point margin with 2.44 to go, and Jason Juanetti will go to the line for Travis. The Bulldogs have outscored Travis 21-6 to in this second half, and they lead it by one, but Jason Juanetti can put the Tigers back in the lead from the free throw line. Bryant Anuni sits down. I think he might have fouled out. And now Noah Veray comes in for him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, Brian Anuni has committed his fifth and he's done for the evening. Could be critical. Juanetti free throw good. We are tied at 33. Travis fans beating their feet on the bleachers and the second free throw is good. Travis has the lead back, 34-33. Lusk gives it to Jackson and the Tigers back off. No full court pressure. The fans chanting D up. There goes Jackson into toe, over to the corner. Veray passed up the three and now threw one away. Off the fingertips of Jackson. So the Travis Tigers lead by one and have the ball, but there goes Alex Martinez. Kills his dribble, gives it back to Ale uh, Zach. Now back to Alex, now Jacob Jones with Veray guarding him. Hands it to Zach. And there's a kick back to Alex along the baseline and stolen away by a Goonlier of Austin. What persistent defense by these dogs. Jeremy Lusk in the backcourt. He's facing some persistent defense from Alex Martinez as we hit the two minute mark. And we've got a timeout, Austin. We'll take it with him on BikeFortBend.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. For nearly a decade, Comcast has been helping students get ready. We've connected 4 million low-income students to low-cost, high-speed Xfinity Internet. We're working with hundreds of school districts across the country to sponsor free Internet and laptops. And now, we're turning 1,000 community centers into lift zones, Wi-Fi-enabled safe spaces to study, so more students have the tools they need to be ready for anything. Learn more at Comcast.com education. All right, we're ready. 
34 to 33, Travis leading with 157 left, but Austin has the basketball. The Bulldogs will have Davion Jackson throw it in, gets it to Ethan Toe. Toe walks across the midcourt stripe. Now gets it to Jackson on the right wing, guarded by Crockett. Jackson trying to get free, now hands to Toe. Little rub off, can't get free for a shot. Spins and gives it back to Jackson. Crockett still guarding Jackson. There goes Davion, all the way to the hoop, draws contact, and it's an offensive foul on Davion Jackson. With 1.33 left, and the Tigers will get it back. Alex Martinez to throw it in. And they get it into Juan Eddy. Juan Eddy gives it back to Alex. He slips and goes down. And he didn't get called for traveling. Got it to Juan Eddy. There goes Juan Eddy into the paint. His layup is good. It's a three-point game. Travis on top. 1.17 to go. Davion Jackson. Throws it into the forecourt to Lusk. Lusk moving to the right corner. I can't even see what I'm supposed to see. Now I gotta stand on a chair. And they almost lose it, they do. Alex Martinez steals it, goes to the hoop, and he scores, and he's fouled by Jackson. Travis coming through with a big hoop. It looked like Jackson was trying to bait Alex into doing something where he could block the shot or maybe he was just trying to avoid a fifth foul but it must not be a fifth foul because he's still out there it's not as if uh, Austin is done but they are down by five and pretty good free throw shooter in Alex Martinez is going to the line And we're hearing the we can't hear you from the Travis fans. That's what you get with these rivalries. Hassensei is on the floor for Austin. Ramin has not played much, if at all, in this second half. The Dogs took the lead 33 to 32, but Travis has now scored the last six points in a row. And Alex Martinez has an opportunity to add to that. Takes his time. Left-handed free throw shooter off the back iron. No good. Rebound to Gunlier. Gunlier gets it to Lusk. 52 seconds to go. Dogs into the forecourt. There goes Lusk all the way to the hoop. Off the window from the left. And it's good. 38-35, it's a one possession game. Dogs playing defense, but here comes Zach Martinez and a little scoop pass to Jacob Jones, and he is fouled. He got Agunlier up in the air with a head fake, and Agunlier came back down on his back. And it'll be foul shots for Jacob Jones. Both teams are in the bonus, but uh, Austin, when they get a chance, they are in the double bonus. Jacob Jones looking relaxed at the free throw line, but we'll see if that pays off. In and out, no good, rebound Dogs. Jackson has it, almost stepped out of bounds. There goes Davion into the forecourt, driving all the way to the hoop. He's fouled, he thought. Toe grabs the rebound, the Dogs still have it. Now it is Lusk, 22 seconds to go. Dogs need a three to tie. There goes Lusk, all the way to the hoop, no good. Rebound Jacob Jones, and he is wrapped up by Jackson with 13.77 showing. Travis may escape this tough home game with a win over Austin. Everybody walking on down to this near end at the left side in the viewpoint of the student fans and Jacob Jones with 13.77 to go. I won't say he could ice this game, but it would be very, very difficult. 
for the Bulldogs to pull it out. If he hits one of these, first one, good. 39-35. Jacob Jones gets the ball for one more free throw. Good. Nothing but net. Dogs got to score quickly. There goes Lusk. Near sideline. Quickly down the floor. Steps back. Launches the three. Good. Timeout. Taken by the Dogs. And Coach Christopher O'War is going to ask for a little time to be added. Right now the clock says 4.69 to go. But I think there's going to be at least a second added. And Coach O'War is over at the scorer's table. Now they're asking the scoreboard uh, clock operator to adjust it. And we'll see what they adjust it to. I'm sorry we don't have a a wireless mic right over there at the scorer's table you know like the network people do but I think we're giving you a pretty good uh, show here alright they put it at 5 and 28 hundredths of a second so they added roughly a half a second 5.28 showing and the Lusk three pointer has made it a two point game it is 40 to 38 Travis and the Tigers will inbound the ball they got to be careful with it because they're inbounding way back down there underneath the basket at which the dogs are shooting and the dogs defense has been amazing Jason Juanetti he's got height and he's going to throw it in from the baseline Juanetti looking 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 he can run the baseline throws it to Zach Martinez he's fouled Noah Varey came over and fouled him and made sure he knew he didn't mean to, you know, do any damage. So 3.43 now showing on the clock after that short flurry. And it's still a two-point game. So if Zach Martinez hits two free throws here, I don't think Austin can overcome that. But if he only makes one, the dogs have a chance. Austin boys making a lot of noise. Zach Martinez. First one, good. His brother Alex comes over there and uh, says something to him that <laughs> Zach just pushed him away. <laughs> 41 to 38. Could be a game clinching free throw. In and out, no good. Rebound to Gundelier to Jackson. One second, got to shoot it. It's going to be too late. Even if it goes in, it's too late. And Travis escapes with a victory, 41-38. to Quickly back down the floor. And just a couple tenths of a second, too late getting the ball out of his hands. And it did not go in anyway, but what a ball game as the Travis Tigers win it 41 to 38 we'll step aside and be back and wrap this one up here on vipefortbend.com when you watch team usa go for the gold you don't just want wi-fi that's fast you want michaela schifrin fast you want eat my powder blink and you'll miss it i ski faster than you drive fast you want wi-fi speeds faster than a gig power all your devices and watch every single wow worthy moment fast you want gig speed internet from Xfinity. Watch Team USA with Wi-Fi speeds faster than a gig. Or get started with Xfinity 50 megabit per second internet for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. This offer ends March 31st. So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit an Xfinity store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. New Xfinity Connect customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After one year, regular rates apply. Gig Wi-Fi requires gigabit internet and compatible gateway. Gig speed Wi-Fi is shareable across all devices. Actual speeds vary and are not guaranteed. Xfinity, proud partner of Team USA. 
Become a Vibe Insider today. Access breaking news in high school sports. Enjoy premium articles and exclusive coverage written by expert analysts and watch exclusive videos, documentaries on programs in your area. It's only $2.99 a month if you subscribe for the monthly plan. If you go for the yearly plan, it rounds out to just $1.99 a month. It costs you only $24 a year to get all of your Vibe news throughout the entire year subscribe today what are you waiting for it's less than a cup of coffee a month become a vibe insider 2.99 a month 23.99 for the whole year hey it's vibe we will see you at the games archer volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you visit our sales department monday through saturday from 9 a.m to 9 p.m or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. First Iron Automotive understands with the new year comes change. Well, we don't believe all change is good, so we are keeping our $15 off an oil change. So now's the time to head to the website, firsttireandauto.com, and claim your savings. First Iron Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. All right, so uh, my little commercial player stopped on me, and I guess that is a sign from above that I need to wrap this one up because, hey, it's a school night. Wow, what a game we had as these Travis Tigers at four and three in their district games really needed the win and they came dangerously close to letting it slip away as the Austin Bulldogs who were trailing 26 to 12 at the half came all the way back to get the lead but Travis ends up winning by a score of 41 to 38. The dogs had gotten ahead 33 to 32. Then Travis scored six straight and a three-pointer by Jeremy Lusk made it very interesting there at the end with 5.28 to go. He hit the three-pointer, but then Zach Martinez made the first free throw. The second one no good. The dogs got one look, but they just didn't have enough time to launch the ball. Jackson's shot came out of his hand after the buzzer went, and Travis escapes with a victory by a score of 41-38. to so the Elkins Knights continue to lead District 26A after they get the win over George Ranch tonight. We don't have a report on the game between Ridgepoint and Clements. So I was trying to get uh, Mr. Rick Gaines, assistant principal at Ridgepoint, to let me know what had happened in that one. Didn't find out. That's okay. Anyway, we will talk to you on Friday night, 6.45 p.m., as Marshall is taking on the Hightower Hurricanes. For everybody on the Vibe team, that includes Les Clary, Suna Venkat, Merle Bertrand, Patrick Kinnick, my friend Bob McKay, thank you for listening. Again, the final, Travis 41 and Austin 38. We will talk to you on Friday night for the game between Marshall and Hightower. Should be a barn burner. A barn burner. Good night, everybody, and God bless.